Welcome to Lab Rats, and today we'll dive into the science of air pressure, explore its applications in our daily lives, and uncover how it enables levitation, making objects float effortlessly. Air pressure is all around us, and believe it or not, it plays a vital role in our daily lives. Not only does air hockey utilize the power of flowing air, but technology such as airplanes and sports cars also work by controlling air pressure. Even drinking through straws is an example of air pressure. Scientists also rely on it, using levitating laboratory tables to minimize vibrations when dealing with delicate materials. It is the reason your ears pop and chip bags get so inflated when you're on a plane. Air pressure is a powerful force that can change the way things move, shaping the way we interact with the world. Let's test this out by making a hovercraft. Before we begin, feel free to decorate one side of your CD to make a cool looking hovercraft. Now let's start. Use your pin or needle and with adult supervision, poke a few holes in the bottle cap. Use hot glue to stick the cap over the CD with the decorated side facing up. Tape and regular glue work as well, but make sure there are no gaps between the CD and cap or else air will escape and your hovercraft won't work. Once the glue is dry, blow up a balloon and twist the neck to stop the air from flowing out. Carefully wrap the opening of the balloon over the cap. Be careful to keep the balloon neck twisted. Now, place your hovercraft on a flat, wide surface. When you're ready, release the balloon and watch it go. So how did the CD just hover like that? Well, if you were to let a normal balloon full of air go, the balloon pushes on the air molecules inside and forces them out through the opening so quickly and powerfully that the balloon is pushed back and it flies all over the place. This is air pressure, air molecules moving and creating a force. Once we attach the bottle cap though, that force is limited. The holes we poked in the top are smaller than the opening of the balloon, so less air gets through. The combination of this and the weight of the CD keeps the balloon on the table while still making it levitate. The same principle applies to air hockey. The air pumps below the hockey table generate a cushion of air that is evenly distributed along the surface of the table. This lifts up the puck and allows it to move faster by gliding on air rather than scraping along the table. Today we learned about the different ways that air pressure can cause levitation and how we can use that to make our very own hovercraft. Now, whenever you see a plane or a helicopter, you'll know how it works. Keep exploring, and as always, happy sciencing.